Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hey there, it's Miriam Joir for BYB, and this is the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. Yes, compact. That's why it looks so small next to my gigantic head. But you know what? Um, there's a lot to be said about flagship devices that are compact, and this is one of the few. Right now, if you want a flagship phone, you can't get anything that's easily you know, smaller than five inches, really. And this is the, one of the few, and probably the only one, that doesn't sacrifice in any way, shape, or form on specs and performance. I really like this phone. This is a really, really good device. So let me walk you through it a little bit. This is a cool orange color. It comes in a bunch of different colors if you go to Sony's website. Be aware, this is sold unlocked in the US through various retailers, including Sony, I believe Amazon as well. And uh, I don't have an exact price point, but it's around $450, which is really quite affordable uh, for a fully fledged device with working LT bands for the US and a very nice version of Android. Very little contamination in terms of you know, uh, manufacturer or carrier, obviously no carrier software of any kind whatsoever. And it's running the latest, well, not quite the latest. It's not the latest Android, but it's 4.4 point something. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, let me walk you through a little bit so you can have an idea what's in the package. And so you can understand this is actually really worthwhile in terms of being a flagship device. Uh, first, you've got the display. It's a gorgeous display. It's only 720p, 4.6 inches. But it's got uh, Sony's Triluminous technology, I believe it's called. And what it is, is uh, it enhances, you know, the, the brightness, the colors. The blacks are really black, which is really beautiful because this is not an OLED panel. It's an IPS panel. You can see here uh, the, 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 the colors are, you know, it's kind of just floating on top of the display. Um, very, very nicely made. Um, you've got the usual sensors and, 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 and speakers and stuff. You've got a speaker right on top of the Sony logo here. Two megapixel front facing camera. You've got another speaker at the bottom. Um, and uh, if you flip it over, you get the piece de resistance. Just like the Z3 non-compact, this phone has a 20 megapixel camera, yes 20. By default, it shoots at eight megapixels and I actually recommend you leave it in that mode because it adds a whole bunch of functionality like uh, image stabilization, uh, auto HDR, and a bunch of other really helpful things. So the camera, you know, looks great on paper, um, but it's, I would say, one of the better ones, but not nearly as great as Sony would like you to believe. Um, it also shoots 4K, which is pretty awesome. Uh, in terms of specs, internally, you've got a Snapdragon 801, 2 gigs of RAM, and only 16 gigabytes of storage. But thankfully, there's a micro SD card slot. So you're not completely stuck with terms of storage. But that's one of the areas that I think Sony could have done a better job. You got an LED flash, obviously, NFC, all the things, you, bells and whistles you'd expect. What is cool is that if you do a tour of the sides here, on the right-hand side, there's a power key volume rocker, but there's also a dual detent camera button. So, you know, you can take a, a photo by just half clicking and then for focus and fully clicking. I think every Android phone should come with this. Very few do, but if you're into photography, this is a really major thing to have. Uh, on the bottom, you get a microphone and a nice little spot to put a lanyard. I wish more phones went back to doing this. A lot of phones used to have a lanyard hole. And it's nice, you don't drop your phone if you have it, especially when you're taking photos, uh, like, you know, you're on, you're on a boat or something, put the strap around you, nothing bad happens. On top, you get obviously the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a secondary microphone for noise reduction. And you know, that's it essentially. On the left hand side are a bunch of ports. And so this is interesting. This phone is water resistant. You can immerse it in a sink or like a, um, do the dishes with it, drop it in the sink when you do the dishes. Nothing bad is going to happen as long as these flaps are closed. There's two flaps on the left hand side, one on top, which has um, the micro USB and the SD card slot, micro SD. And then on the bottom, there's one that's actually interestingly not labeled. But underneath it uh, is where you'll find the nano SIM for this phone. So it's a nano SIM. I think more and more devices seem to be headed in that direction. So you probably have to get used to it. And of course, closing these, uh, these little flaps is important because that's what the water resistance is all about. So just be careful that you close it properly. There's also a custom connector that's magnetic. It's for a dock that Sony makes. I've never seen it in person. And you know I've seen a lot of Sony products. So don't count on this being quite useful. But in terms of this uh, 
overall, this phone, you know, if you're looking for a high-end phone, but you have small hands or you don't want to go for something that's going to take up a lot of real estate, this is this is the phone. You know, um, it's 4.6 inch 720p display it could be 1080p, I guess, but at 4.6 inches, uh, it's really not a big deal. And most importantly, uh, it saves battery to have less pixels to uh, to uh, to drive. Um, speaking of battery, this is a 2,500 or so milliamp hour battery. Battery life is great. Snapdragon 801 is very efficient. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. I like high-end phones, as you know. And again, the camera really, you know, is, is being pushed really hard by Sony. But um, honestly, I think if this had OIS, optical image stabilization, which is really a technology that's becoming more and more popular on high-end phones, this might actually be my daily driver. This would probably be the phone I use every day. For me, as a photography buff, the OIS is really what's missing from this device. But other than that, everything about it is delightful. So pros, as I said, uh, top specs, small, water resistant are probably the big three. Um, and it's, I think, a really beautiful design. The fact that you get a very plain version of Android to work with, no, no, uh, no glut here. And uh, cons, you know, probably the camera. Not that it's a bad camera, don't get me wrong. It'll definitely get the job done. But Sony has hyped the camera so much that it just doesn't live up to the, oh my God, 20 megapixel, because it lacks OIS. In closing, to me, the Sony uh, Xperia Z3 Compact is an absolute, no doubt, buy. It's probably one of the top five or 10 phones on the market today. Comes in funky colors, is small, compact, beautiful. Um, you know, Sony has done a really good job at not cutting any corners on this, except for perhaps OIS uh, on the camera. So there you have it, the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact here on Before You Buy. I'm Miriam Joir, and I'll catch you next time.